Twelve-year-old boy has been found dead in bushland not far from the Brisbane River. The hero, and he killed Tom. Hey, Paul! You don't know anything about Paul. Hey, what do you know about Paul? I know he didn't kill Tom. Didn't we get you a kit with one like this a couple of birthdays ago? Tom. Christy, are you, are you... Let's just get this over with. I can't do this, but I know that I have to. Leave that woman alone, Ben. When did you sleep with Jessica Monet? The DNA sample you gave us. Did you know you were Tom's father? Careful. I promise your mum no scratches. Hey, watch it, kiddo. Current strong here. I'm OK. What happens if we don't put it back? Well, it'll die. And then we'll eat it for dinner if I can fool your mother into thinking we bought it. Eva! Eva! It's nice. Come on. Sleep, and I thought he was going to kill me. Thank you. To the police. Did Cornell tell you about the DNA result? to report this. Jess's sister phoned the cops. Why didn't you do that, phone the cops? Why did you go in there? Because I thought he was going to hurt Jess. Did he? No. Just you. <sighs> well, what did he say to you? Does, 
Does he think that you killed Tom? Um, I don't know. Did he find out that you slept with Jess? Or is there more to it? Has it happened again? No, I, I told you. Okay, it happened once. Do you love her? No, I love you. You're gonna look like you got hit by a bus. About Jess. Dad? Dad's okay, honey. Yeah. No, I'm fine. Did you piss off? Poor Manane. Oh, it's a beauty. Listen, I've got to tell you to tone it down with the chicks, mate. I've got daughters. Hey, they didn't see anything. I will hide them better. Get thinner ones? No, if Christy sees it, she'll boot you out. All right, I will behave like a priest, but not a dodgy one. Mr. Gundelak. Yeah. We need you to come with us. No, sorry, mate. They must have found Paul. Not to my knowledge. But he made the complaint, right? But, well, not if they haven't found him. Mr. Hare. Mr. Gundelak. Uh, Detective, are you charging Ben? Assault occasioning bodily harm is a serious offence. How are you? Most people would think twice about attacking a commando. I thought he was going to hurt Mrs. Manane. Jess. Did you hit him? Yes. How many times? I don't know. More than once? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Did he hit you? Just once. That's it. I'm a trained soldier. I feel like he didn't kill you. Must have shown some restraint hitting you only once when you hit him who knows how many times. He was choking me too. <laughs> what did Paul say to you? Did he mention anything about Tom? Sean Nicole's told you. He said that the DNA test didn't matter, that he was still Tom's father. Did that make you angry? No. Why not? 
Are you embarrassed that Tom is your son? No, I hit Paul because he was choking me. But not the first hit. W where are we going with this detective? I hit him first because he was going after Jess. Were you afraid for her? Yes. Afraid that he'd hurt her and that would be terrible. Yes. Because you like her. Well, you must like her. You had a child with her. I'm married. That incident was a mistake. Tom was a mistake. Sleeping with Jess was a mistake. A mistake you wanted to keep secret. Okay, Ben. We did. We did, Jess and I. We did keep it secret because we didn't want to get anybody hurt. Were you afraid that Paul was going to find out about Tom? No, I didn't. I didn't know Tom was mine until you told me. Oh, Mr. Gundelak. You must have guessed. He's growing up to look a lot like you. Oh. Were you worried that people would start to ask questions? Paul Menane. Your wife. Oh, that's it. Oh, you think I... You think I beat Tom to death so that Christy wouldn't find out about a one-night stand? Well, she knows. So you told her that Tom is your son? Why is this your business? The cause of Tom's death was blunt force trauma to the back of the skull. Forensic services match metallic paint from the wound to... Incredible, isn't it? Thousands of makes. They narrow it down to one. Looks a lot like your missing torch, doesn't it? I don't remember. Oh, must look familiar. Look at the logo. Take a closer look. No, thanks. I might jog your memory. You all right, Mr. Gundelak? <laughs> OK, may I remind you, Detective, that my client's been assaulted as well. He's been choked and struck. And I fail to see what your line of questioning has to do with the altercation between Mr. Manane and my client. Now, he's sick. And he's not saying any more. Now, has there been a complaint made against Ben or not? Oh, there's been no complaint. Yet. But we're very grateful to get Mr. Gundelak's side of the story. Thank you. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Ben. You really have to get a criminal lawyer. We can't afford it. You need to see a doctor. I gotta fly. Settlement. I'm sorry. I'm here. Are you all right? We can go. We should take you to Dr. Turner. I need to get my ute. No, it'll keep. Have you thought about what we should tell the girls if you do end up under arrest? What do you mean? For assaulting Paul? How could you do that? It was an accident. All right. Grow up. Settle down. Settle, Tiger. Settle. Hey, what's going on? She I got her precious card in her hand. She's gone many times. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. About it. Guys. It's like bloody Parliament in here. Okay, one at a time. She won't let me use her glitter. You're not wasting it. I need it for tomorrow night. What's tomorrow night? Cooper's brother's 21st. I cleared it with Mum. Well, how are you getting there? In his car? No, in his spaceship. Cooper's had his license a week. Almost two months. He's not driving you. Mum said it was fine. Well, I say it's too dangerous. Yeah, much safer living on a street where kids get murdered and dads get beaten up. Forget it. I won't go. I still need glitter. Dave will get you some. Oh. Dave. Yep.
Ready? One, two, two three. three. Hey, good boy. Yeah. Wind it in, wind it in, wind it in. Good boy. We missed a mortgage payment. We need to move some money over. And I'll phone them. Oh, don't worry, I'll do it tomorrow. <clears throat> this needs stitches. Tom was mine. You remember the DNA test that the cops took? It, it um... Cornell told me. I didn't know. Oh, man. You said you only slept with her once. Not once. It was five years. Five years ago. I can do the math. <sighs> when exactly? You didn't want to know. Now I do. You went away. I stayed here. There was a street party. When exactly? There was a weekend. You went away with the girls up the coast, and it was a. And we had that fight. You broke the green. When glass. I went up the coast after I got out of hospital. Oh, my God. I didn't plan it. You didn't plan it? Our pregnancy didn't work out and you run off and you fucked an inner thing? That pregnancy didn't not work out, Chris. You had We to... talked about it! Oh, did we really? Yes! Yes, you said that we should do whatever was right for me. No, for us. People are supposed to make those decisions together. But I thought we did. You ran off to the clinic by yourself. You didn't even tell me you were going. You would have tried to talk me out of it. Yeah. But you still got what you wanted. I didn't know. Get out. Get out! Get out! Chris. Thanks for the lift, mate. Yeah, no worries. Brother, you must have been kicked in the ass by a Chinaman. <laughs> I know that's not PC, but, man, you've been having some shit luck. It's not luck. It's history. Mm. They'll cheer you up. No. Well, I mean, I didn't even know about the... the termination. Why don't you tell me, man? I'm very good at keeping secrets. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to go through everything by yourself. But Tom is your boy. <laughs> that is huge. <laughs> Makes sense, though. What? He's a nice kid. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks, man. Boy. What? Oh. 
Well, how, how would he have found out? Who? Paul Manane. How would, how would he know that Tom was yours? The DNA test. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well, the cops, they haven't found him, so they wouldn't have told him, and Jess wouldn't tell him, would she? Well, I doubt it. Thanks. De nada. I didn't tell Paul. Why would I tell him anything else about Tom? But you did tell Nicole. Hi, you called Nicole. Leave me a message or check my website for training time details. She wouldn't have told Paul. She knows what I think about him. She reported me to the cops. I told her to drop it and she did. She's a good sister. Left here. Excuse me. Where's Cornell? I don't know, sir. Try not to think about it. Uh. You okay? Could she be with him? It doesn't matter. And they've got him, it's over. Cheers. <laughs> I liked the idea of Tom being like you. I 
should go. I wondered if I should ask you where you got to last night. But I don't think I want to know. I got Paul Manane taken in by the cops. We? You and Jess? Nothing happened. Nothing's happening. Are you punishing me? No, Chris. Have you told the girls about Tom? This is about driving with Cooper. I told you, Mum said it was fine. I made a mistake. A big mistake, and it's hurt your mother very much. Have you said sorry? That's what you always tell us to do. Sometimes sorry is not enough. They did some tests. The police. I found out that Tom... Tom's real dad was me. You're incredible. Tash! Eva. 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 Wait here. Eva. Please talk to me. Tom was my brother. Yeah. I didn't know. Not until the other day. Mom can't break up. It's not meant to happen. I don't want us to. Then promise you won't. <laughs> A group on two people smuggling fed by Sri Lanka's Defence Secretary, who is confident a diplomatic solution can be reached. In local news, the father of murdered Brisbane boy Thomas Manane was last night assisting police with their arrivals. Paul Manane, a soldier based out of Sydney's Holsworthy barracks, had been separated from the victim's mother. An official from the task force investigating the murder stated that Corporal Manane is not under arrest. Corporal Manane did not release a statement but is ben. expected to continue to assist police as the investigation into his son's... Hey, hey guys. We thought you were finishing out here last week. Uh, yeah, no, I just, um, a few little hold-ups, nothing chronic. Sorry. You did promise to finish by Christmas. Yeah, no problem. A valuer from the bank is coming Christmas Eve. All right, it's gotta be done. It will. Sorry, do you... Oh. 
Hello? Ben, it's Robert Lou. Can you come to the office, please? Uh, is Christy OK? Hey. Can I help you? I'm uh, Ben Gundelak, Robert Lou called. Oh, yeah, yes. One minute. Is Christy OK? Thanks for coming, Ben. Um, here are her things. What's going on? Christy left this morning. Left? What? Left us. She quit? We had to let her go. She left in a bit of a bad mood. Here are her things. Severance check. Um, it's all a little bit, um, a bit unfortunate, really. You fired her? Why? I'm sorry. These things happen. And tell us to leave the car out the back. Listen, if your mum comes home, just have a call me, will you? Okay. Have you said sorry yet? I told her double dipping's fine as long as we finish it. Is your mum being home? Where's Tasha? She went to that party. What, with Cooper? He picked her up in his car. Mate, you should sit. Just come and sit down. OK, do you know where he lived? Somewhere in the Gap. OK, can you watch Eva? Yeah, mate, what are you going to do? Drive around around the Gap? His street sign's on his profile page. Getting in that car. Just get in the car. I scream. Fine. I'll walk. Dave, can you take them, please? Go with Dad. Eva, Eva, can you just get back in the car? I'm going with you. I don't have lights this good on our street. Not this year, no. Because of Tom.
I miss him. I miss him too. <laughs> Straight to bed, kiddo. You're still bleeding. Where have you been? I'm sorry you lost your job. Oh, well, it's a beast of surprises by now. Chris. I'm going to bed. Tash. Mm. Oh, yeah? Morning. Thank you. You all right? Yeah. Mm. Look, I just wanted to... Tonight was pretty shit. Mate, I just wanted to say thanks. Oh, no worries. No, it's just this last week or so, things are just... What? What did you do? <laughs> oh, mate, nothing. <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. What the fuck are you thinking? I know you, Dave. What, with Tash? Mate, she's 16. Mate, I've seen the way that you look at her. All right, whoa, OK? It's me. You're losing it, all right? I know you're under some heat. Oh, you didn't touch her! Tell me you didn't touch her, Dave! I was helping her out of the car. OK, get out. I did not touch get her. Get out of my house! going on? Ask Tash. She's furious. She said you attacked Cooper. Oh. Tell him he's That's hot. Did you hurt him? No, I didn't. I was he just... He is a teenager, Ben. Stop yelling! Shut up, Eva! Eva. Eva!
promised to get him up in one one day. I'll let you go. I was with someone that night. And now you know who. You know it was yours? No. I never heard Tom. No, I never heard his mother. But I will hurt you. If they find out that you did it, that you killed my little boy, but I will end you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. They're really putting you to the ringer, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Have you seen Tim about that eye? He's home. Oh, yeah, I will. Thanks. Take care. See you. You okay? I'm sorry. I'll fix it. Paul didn't do it. Thank you. 